I have been pleasantly chastised that we are bumping up against our time frame, so I apologize. Sometimes I can hardly wait to hear what I'm going to say. Uh, I often tell people I am the world's foremost authority on my opinion, and I believe everybody's entitled to it. <laughs> so the last topic real quick is taxes and a special assessments. So remember the underwriter is going to have to deal with taxes. And if you're in a jacked up state like us, Indiana, where we're not only paying in arrears, we're paying a year in arrears, uh, you have to understand there's only like six states that do this. Um, that could pose a problem. So they have to check with the taxing authority. They have to check on the current status of the tax. Did they pay the last tax bill? Are they due but not payable? which is a term that a lot of states freak out when I talk to them about that, due but not payable, and due and payable. So you have, they have to understand where they're at. They also have to understand, is there any assessments, special assessments that may have been levied, like a school assessment, or a water assessment, or a new library assessment, where it was levied one time, but paid over 10 years, there could still be three or four years left of that special assessment to pay off. That has to be prorated and understood from the underwriter standpoint, so they have to check with those taxing authorities. They could always include them in the ex exceptions of the policy if they wanted to. So make sure, or they have to make sure that they communicate that or put that as an exception so that it can't be made as a claim later on. All right, um, I thank you very much for coming. Um, if you're at home, I thank you. If you have any other questions about the process of an underwriter, and hopefully you've gotten a little more insight to why they're nuts, <laughs> or drink a lot, one of the two, I don't know, which is, that's not, I, I take that back. If there's an underwriter out there listening and you don't drink, I commend you. I don't understand you, but I commend you. No. All right. If you have questions, you guys can stick around. Uh, we've got another class, but feel free. If you're at home and you've got questions, you can email me, Raymond at realuniversity.com, and we can cover whatever you want to talk about. All right. I thank you very much for coming.